New tonight in South Lake Tahoe. There could be some big changes in the next time you book a vacation rental. The city wants to crack down on loud and rowdy renters. KCRA3's Richard Sharp explains the debate. In the Keys or in the trees. Vacation rental homes are big business in South Lake Tahoe. There are more than 1,500 permitted ones in the city alone. Something needs to change. For more than 30 years, Rob Swain has lived in South Lake Tahoe and says the rentals on his street often attract noisy renters. But when you get 12, 16 people in a house, that's a party. They own a home and they rent it on their own. Tonight, City Hall was filled with residents and rental owners to hear how the city wants to change the rules for vacation rentals to reduce noise, trash, and parking problems. Problems. The biggest potential change? Reducing occupancy. A three bedroom rental could only have six people instead of the current 10 person limit. So the idea of reducing occupancy as a whole could positively impact all three of those areas because you have less people, you have less trash, and you have less, car less cars. Under the proposed changes, no hot tub jets after 10 p.m. to cut down on noise, no outdoor amplified music after 10. And on the first violation, officers could slap a $250 fine on the property. Property owners and the renters. Vacation rental owners say some of the changes will hurt, especially limiting the occupancy. Without those visitors, it's um, going to have a big impact on both jobs and on our local economy. One of the complaints rental owners have is that the laws with these changes would be different in the city and the county, giving vacation rentals in the county an advantage. Now, the city says they're still working through all of this, but they hope to have the new laws in place by the summer renting season. In South Lake Tahoe, I'm Richard Sharp, KC.